Here's a small selection of uh, World, the World of Warcraft TCG, uh, the second uh, set through the Dark Portal. Uh, I don't, I don't really have that many cards, as you can tell. Uh, I've already ordered these. Uh, these are the uh, Legion allies. And again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, uh, there ain't a heck of a lot for me to say. Uh, after a couple of videos, except for say, I think I seem to remember this artwork being used in uh, in Hearthstone. It's going through my crap, my storage stuff, and um, saw these, and I was like, you know, these are pretty cool. I should. Not just I shouldn't just keep them in hiding, uh, and I'm actually making a presentation book. As I make the videos, I select uh, some cards out, and I put them in a presentation book right here. That's the book I'm making, and so just I just open it up just to show you guys how I make it. There it is. So it's cards are being put in the book as we speak between videos. Keep going with these. Uh, there are so many cards that I think I think I'm not even going to make it to have uh, all the cards that I have in Fires of Outland into this first book. So I may have. I, I think I'm going to get a second presentation book, and that's going to get a bunch of Fires of Outland car Outlands uh, cards. Remember this art artwork? I think from Hearthstone. They're just one of the things that I really liked about this uh, trading card game. I love it when a set has a ton of cards. And a lot of these sets have 300 cards, 250 cards, just like Magic does. But I think even more. Uh, for example, Portal has 319 cards. Uh, Fires of Outland has 246 cards. And, at the, and somewhere in this pile, I have a, an Azeroth card that I forgot. Two of them. 361 cards in Heroes of Azeroth. So yeah, these are big sets, which is wonderful for a pack-cracking maniac like yours truly. One thing I noticed is, of course, the supply was so much larger and the packs were very cheap when the card game was going, when it was still being produced by uh, Blizzard slash uh, Cryptozoic. The moment it got canceled, all those packs, even uh, crap packs like War of the Elements, um, just disappeared from the market or, and went up in price by a lot. I mean, you used to be able to buy some of the packs at a dollar a pack and each pack contained I think like 19 cards something like that 19 then it went I think even to 21 and um, yeah cool artwork very cool artwork um, so yeah it's kind of interesting if uh, if if it does happen to force of will which I very much hope it doesn't happen to um, that it goes it's cancelled or it stopped, which I really, really hope it doesn't, you're going to see the supply of all those cheap packs just dwindle to nothing. And that's what's happened with World of Warcraft. If you go right now on eBay, uh, you're going to find War of the Elements booster boxes, I think for like $50, $60. They were selling for a lot less uh, when the game was ongoing because that, that uh, pack did not, uh, sell well at all. I think I always get my piles mixed up. I don't think I've gone through these cards. I'm pretty sure I haven't gone through the other. I have, I have, yes, I think I got my piles. Folks, I always forget a pile here or there. But you know, getting old ain't that bad. Some of this artwork I remember from when I cracked the packs. Of course, in the case of Fires of Outland, my gigantic piles come from... Somebody must have cracked maybe like two or three boxes. Uh, of course, looking for a Spectral Tiger. 
the most expensive mount, uh, the most expensive card in the game. And uh, yeah, so I bought I bought a box full of Fires of Outland uh, cards, and um, at a great price. I, that only happened once through the time that I was collecting uh, World of Warcraft. I never again saw a lot like that. And this is where people say, well, you know, fight your fear of missing out, your FOMO. Yes, that is this, this is true, you should fight your FOMO. But if you see a good deal, you should know better and take it. And so if, you, if, if, I, if I had seen a second lot with five, I would have thought, oh, well, I'm sure there's gonna be somebody else who uh, sells another uh, remainder collection of Fires of Outland cards. That did not happen ever again. There was only one lot in the, whatever it was, two years when I was cracking these packs, and that was it. Okay, and these are, these are actually uh, Heroes of Azeroth cards that I forgot. So I'm done with uh, Through the Dark Portal.